Thousands of people laced up their sneakers this morning for the 20th annual Race for the Cure in downtown Scranton. Doctors in our area tell Newsmark 16's Barry DeWitt they get closer to a cure for cancer each year. Runner, set, go! And with that, year number 20 was off and running, or in some cases, walking. Thousands of people lined the city streets of Scranton, and most of them were dressed in pink, doing their part to put an end to the pain that many families experience by finding a cure for breast cancer. Dr. John Farrell is a radiologist with advanced imaging specialists in Dunmore. We are doing a much better job of detecting cancer, especially early cancer, and the earliest we can detect a cancer, the, better, the best chance there is for a cure. So that's why it's so important to get a mammogram. Marjorie Frisbee lives in Lake Ariel and she is all of 98 years young. She's also a breast cancer survivor and has been coming to the race for the cure here in Scranton for 15 years. She says the key for those battling cancer is to stay brave. Well, I get scared. The Lord takes care of me. Yeah. And I don't worry. Right. Things turn so better for worse anyway, so why worry and pull your health down? And it wasn't just a cure that was on the minds of many, but also the ninth anniversary of 9-11, which was another great reason some people found to run the five kilometers. My wife and I lost a good friend to breast cancer in 1993, so I've usually run the race for the cure. Um, we also had two friends in United Flight 93, and I'm a firefighter in justice. It was projected that close to 10,000 people would participate in the 2010 race for the cure, and event organizers say they hope to see that number continue to grow with each passing year. Barry DeWitt, Newswatch 16, Scranton.